ready with me while I talk about my shopping addiction. One time, I wanted a purse so bad, but I didn't have any money in my bank account. I think I had $24. And the purse that I wanted was $500. I wanted it so bad that I literally called my sister and I asked her for her social security number. I asked her if I could open up a credit card under her name so that way I could buy this purse. Now there is such thing as like taking something too far and at this time I knew that I was taking it too far. Like I knew that if I literally didn't have the money in my bank account to not buy this damn purse that I shouldn't put my sister in credit card debt to get the purse. Ultimately I didn't buy the purse but I thought about it. I applied for the credit card like I literally did all of the steps up until actually purchasing the bag. That's just kind of the hold that material items can have on me sometimes. And it's not something I love about myself. So back in the era of 2012, 2014, when makeup on YouTube was popping, I was that girl at home watching every YouTuber do their makeup and I became obsessed. And I would go to the store. I would want to blow like my whole paycheck on makeup. But the boyfriend that I had at the time, it's not Louis. He was very conscious about the way he spent his money. And I was very unconscious. I remember this man had a Rite Aid walking distance from his house. I would take my debit card in my back pocket and I would say I was walking my dog, which I, I was walking my dog. I would buy like literally one $200 worth of makeup. I would buy this makeup and then I would walk back to his house. But I didn't want to walk back in with all of this makeup. So what I would do is I would take the makeup out of the packaging. And if you are like a hoarder girly, you know that the packaging is half the fun. It's half of the happiness of getting new makeup. Anyway, so take them all out of the packaging and I would stuff them in my shorts. I would put the makeup like this, like this. And then I would put the makeup in my pockets, so I would just put like 10 little makeup things in my body. And then I would walk into his house and really truly did feel shamed. I felt a lot of shame for spending that type of money, going to those great lengths to buy what I wanted. Fast forward like four or five years from that point, I finally got a big girl job where there was like a salary. When I got that job, I decided, bitch, you are going to put all the energy that you put into shopping into paying off your debt. So what I did is I wrote all of my credit cards down. I had like eight at the time. I wrote them all down, lowest to biggest. And I decided, this is how much extra you have a paycheck and you're going to put that towards your debt and you're going to pay off the credit card and when you pay off the credit card you're not going to have it in your wallet basically so that's exactly what i did and at the time i was still selling on poshmark so every other week i would get paid and i would put 500 dollars towards the credit card and little by little i think it took me around six months i paid off all of my credit card debt because what i also did was i was selling things on my poshmark at the same time so any money that i was making on poshmark i would just put towards a credit card and once i paid off like i think i paid off two five hundreds and one one thousand credit card once i did that and i actually saw a dent in the progress i was like holy shit this is so cool like i can do this i also at the time was dating my boyfriend that i have right now and i was I've never felt judged by that man when it comes to money. So I remember just being very transparent with him and saying like, hey, I have around $8,000 worth of credit card debt. I don't like having it. I used to overspend and now I don't want to overspend. And when I told that to Lewis, he was like, oh my God, like you are so cool for being able to like admit that and just like want to do better. And he's like, I would love to support you any way that I can. So as I was paying off my cards, I would tell him, I'd be like, oh my God, I paid off Capital One today or I paid off Ulta today. And he'd be like, hell yeah. And when I got down to my last credit card, I saved my biggest credit card for last. It was a Macy's credit card. That card was maxed out. It was around $2,000. And I remember he was so proud of me for like, paying down all of my cards that he actually gave me two thousand dollars to pay off my last credit card if you're trying to pay off if you're trying to pay off credit card debt one thing that i really recommend is to have some sort of incentive the incentive at the time we were both me and lewis were both living at his mom and dad's house and he was like hey once you pay off all your debt like let's move out and get our own place because we'll be able to afford it and i remember being like this is the best incentive this is exactly what I need to be able to get me to stay focused and to stay 
focused on the end result. Otherwise, it would have been just so easy for me to say, fuck it, let's go shopping, you know? I personally love sharing my shopping stories with you. I'm an open book when it comes to credit card debt and financial mistakes that I've made in my life. So if you guys want me to keep doing these get ready's with me, leave in the comments what you guys want me to talk about or what you want to hear about as far as me. 